Hello everyone and welcome to this weekly reading for the week ahead as we transition from July into August. So Monday is the 26th and Sunday is the 1st of August. So what do we need to know? And we are moving towards the Lionsgate portal. We've had that powerful full moon. So a lot of things being released to be created. So what do we need to know? So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use the cards I've just used to do the horoscope readings. I'm going to be posting that video later. We're going to bring in Mary, Queen of Angels, the Love Secrets Unlocked and the Twin Flame Journey Messages. So we're going to do a reading about your personal journey, what you need to know and your Twin Flame Journey and what you need to know. So we're going to do it in two separate parts. So what do we need to know then, please, angels, for everyone? There we go. And what do we need to know for Twin Flames? Very powerful how they're coming out today. And that one too. What do we need to know, please, angels, for everyone right now? And what do we need to know for Twin Flames? What love secrets are being unlocked here? What do we need to know for everyone, please, angels? What do we need to know for everyone? And what do we need to know for Twin Flames? Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start then with the energy around everyone. So the message from Mother Mary is Father. Wow, Father. So this is about your Father in Heaven. This is about God the Creator or whoever you believe in. The universe, the higher power, Father Sky. Whoever you believe in up there that's got your back down here. So you're being reminded that you have someone bigger than you or something bigger than you watching over you helping you to create your dreams, to live your life in power, to bring in what you want, giving you strength, giving you determination, motivating you, helping you to get back up on your feet when you fall down, giving you the strength you need to carry on, giving you all the resources that you need, helping you to feel abundant and powerful, helping you to bring money on in and put food on the table, providing for you so you are provided for and you are safe and you will love so much more than you know you know the creator knows every single hair on your head that's how special you are that's how loved you are and you're being reminded of this here we've also got the word father so you know you may be dealing with issues around your father right now if your father has passed away or you know you're thinking of your father who's passed away you are being shown that you are loved from heaven. Maybe you're having issues with your father down here. You know, if your father is ill or struggling or you've had a miscommunication, there is healing energy flowing in. And God, your creator, is saying to you, all is well. Remember, this person has moved into your life for a reason, to heal you, to grow you, to evolve you. Or this person has left your life for a reason to heal you, grow you and evolve you. And there's nothing to fear. Maybe you're dealing with the father of your children right now and you're bringing in healing and forgiveness. You know, you're going through something there. So however the word father resonates with you, take it because it will be a sign for you. But ultimately a message that God is your father and you are safe. My true father God is in heaven who shines healing light upon me my birth father and our relationship. So obviously things are being healed. The relationship between you and your creator has been healed. The relationship between you and your birth father has been healed. And the relationship with you and the father of your children has been healed too, if that relates to you. Very powerful. Somehow you have become part, a part of all my memories. So I definitely feel that, you know, this is connected with the past. This is connected with healing. You know, memories that you have either of your your father, you know, your birth father or, you know, the father of your your children or, you know, maybe your twin flame as a father and you're thinking of them or you're seeing them as the emperor who can also be a great father figure. So you've got memories of a person here, you know, and it's saying to you, enhance those memories by looking at them with love. You know, somehow you have become a part of all my memories. So when you lose someone or, you know, when you're dealing with grief in any way, that person becomes a part of who you are, becomes a part of your memories and that's never going to go away. So I feel this is a real message for anyone who's just lost someone. 
you know maybe it's, it's not your father but you're resonating with someone else a mother or a brother or you know somebody you love someone close to you they're always with you and they will always be a part of you and your memories which is very very powerful we've got i see us walking along a beach together one day hand in hand so i feel this is a great message about reunion you know that you will be reunited with your loved ones in heaven you know you'll walk together hand in hand one day along a beautiful beach which we do kind of see as heavenly you know it's about coming together i also feel that this is definitely connected with anyone who's on your mind right now you know it could be a lover it could be a twin flame you're going to be together again. So I feel this is a great sign about coming back together reunion, which is very possible right now. You know, as we move further ahead into August, you're going to see all this happening now. So someone who's been a memory to you is going to be brought back into your life for a future. And we've got lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So there's also lies being healed. If someone has lied to you, if they haven't told you the truth, they're apologizing and they're saying it was just easier for me to lie to you than tell you the truth because that truth would have brought in chaos, upheaval, fears, core wounds being healed. And, you know, this is a big message here. So this could be somebody that you've lost who's saying that to you. I'm sorry I lied to you. You know, it's all been healed now in the earth realm and the spiritual realm too. Could be your person, your twin flame, a lover, apologizing for lying to you. And, you know, you're saying, will we ever be together? I forgive you for this. And they are saying, well, we're going to walk together hand in hand. We're going to have time together. You know, and this is a great time for this too, because I do feel a lot of kind of energy happening where the restrictions are lifting. And obviously things are coming in. You know, things are happening now with, you know, we've got to have a certain thing to travel. We've got to do all these things. But he's saying it's becoming easier to have that one-on-one -on -one time to reconnect, to come towards each other again. There's so much power, okay? And be extra vigilant with things too. You know, I want to bring this in because there is things going on right now in the world. As you know, with this pandemic and we're all spending more time online and doing more things online. So just be vigilant with everything you do, especially when you're making payments for things or, you know, because there is a lot of cyber attack going on right now and there is craziness in the world. So just be careful with things, you know, like if you're doing something, make sure you check everything before you do it. You know, just be extra vigilant with things too. And that's a message coming through from your father, the creator. Okay, remember your power and stand strong in your truth. Don't do anything you don't want to do. Do everything that you feel is right for you and you will be supported along the way no matter what. In the twin flame journey then, we've got sobriety and we've also got signs and this is very powerful. I'm feeling a few things in this too. So first of all, we have to have a clear mind to be aware of what's going on around us because we're always receiving signs and synchronicities on this journey. And I speak about that in today's Daily Twin Flame reading. You know, if you see a sign and you know what it means collectively, that's all well and good, but it will also mean something specific for your journey. So always ask your intuition or ask your angels or ask your twin flame what sign they are giving to you and why, what they're trying to show you in that sign you've seen or you know that number sequence or that song what are you being shown the signs are always speaking to you in many ways and we have to have a clear mind to see them that means we stay in the now we stay in the present moment we clear our mind we breathe we relax we stop overthinking or we stop procrastinating or we stop worrying and going into fear because when we're doing that we are not seeing things clearly this is also a great sign that, you know, your person is releasing things that cloud their judgment or cloud their mind. So if your masculine has got an issue with alcohol or, you know, any kind of addiction, okay, it could be drugs, it could be money addictions, it could be a sex addiction, it could be anything. They are releasing that right now because they're becoming clearer about things, more focused, they gain a sober mind. Remember, sobriety is not always about going clean. It's about cleaning up your act, cleaning up your mind, cleaning up those thoughts, 
that create weeds in the garden of your mind. And when you clear them out, then beautiful flowers can grow. So this is a big message here that the signs are showing this to you, that your person is cleaning up their act and that your person is receiving the signs they need to clean up their act. They are cleaning things out, cleaning things up. You know, you may see cleaning things this week, you know, more than usual. Maybe you go on the tally and there's an advert for cleaning products or you see a brush or you see someone sweeping something out or there's, there's things being cleaned away. And this energy is between the full moon we've just had and the new moon that's coming in on the Lionsgate portal on the 8th. So big, massive shift in cleaning things out between them, preparing for the new. So things are being healed. Trust the signs you see. My clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate. So the more clear our mind is, the more easy it is to visualize, to have that vision of what we want, to calm our mind to get focused on we what what we want to sort things out and i watch for notice and trust the signs that heaven continually sends so trust the signs you see they are speaking to you and if you're the one that needs to clean up your act you're receiving all the signs and heaven will help you guide you and give you the support you need if i told you that i love you would you call me crazy so your person wants to say they love you you know, they want to say this. Maybe they're thinking, am I going a bit crazy? Okay, would you think I'm crazy if I tell you how I feel? So they're also dealing with insecurity about opening up. And this is another thing they are doing to clear their mind. Maybe you're thinking, if I tell you that I love you, would you think I'm crazy? Especially if you haven't really met properly in the 3D world or, you know, you, you don't really know them very well, even though you know them better than anyone. Or maybe, you know, you're thinking, I don't want to tell you again because you already think that I'm a crazy person. And we all feel sometimes on this journey, somewhere on this journey, like a crazy person. But we learn that we are the sanest we've ever been. And you are sane. And if that's what's on your mind right now, the angel is saying to you, let that go because you are saner than you've ever been. So you're saying, I love you. And they are saying to you, I love you. You're not going crazy you're just crazy for each other. And if you hear that song by Patsy Cline, crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. So the angel's saying, don't feel crazy because you are what? I look at you smiling and I wonder if that smile is for me. Now, this is really powerful because I spoke about this in today's Daily Twin Flame reading about that smile. And I've been speaking about it a few days ago too. So they are smiling about you. And you were smiling about them. So you're saying, I wonder if that smile on your face is for me. Maybe you see a picture and they are smiling or you see something on the internet. You know, if they are a celebrity or, you know, if, if you see it on social media. They are smiling today about you and other people are noticing this too. Other people are realising that, wow, what are they smiling about? What have they got to smile about? What's that smile all about? So there's a secret smile about you. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. So I feel this is understanding each other and realising why it takes time. And this is about responsibilities, especially if your person is a father or they are dealing with an issue around a father or, you know, someone in heaven or someone they may have lost or someone's ill. I feel this because if you watch the first part of today's reading, you know, it's all about no, like caring for someone or healing something with someone. So it feels like they may have something else going on. Okay, because remember the clearing the past, the clearing the way, and so are you. You may have something going on. You know, you may be saying to your person this week, I just have to do something else right now. You know, please try and understand. Maybe you're working on work or you're working on your needs and goals or what you want to do. And you're saying, just try and understand, I've just got this to do. So it's not the intentionally kind of blanking each other or, you know, not wanting each other because you love each other. But you've got other things to do. So I feel this week you've got other things to do than just kind of sit around thinking about your twin flame or wanting to be with your twin flame. You're dealing with things that is going on. And that's why the creator is saying to you, be vigilant this week. Be aware of what you're doing, you know, trust yourself. 
your intensity frightens and allows me all at the same time. So this is reminding you that this is a powerful connection. It is unlike anything either of you have ever felt. So it is going to scare the bejesus out of you both. It is going to feel powerful and blinding and crazy. But it's going to feel magical too. So you're going to have ups and downs, highs and lows. You're on a roller coaster ride. You've just got to ride that and let it take you where it takes you and spin you around the corners and make you go upside down. It will make you feel sick, but it will also make you feel happy too. So just ride the roller coaster. You may be busy this week and not have much time for your twin, you know, or you've got things to do. Maybe they're on your mind too much this week, even though you have got things to do. So don't feel crazy. You are safe. Get a clear mind, focus on your goals, your dreams, what you want to do and trust the signs you see because they are being given to you. Have a great week sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.